How are you? Today is the 8th of April, 2012. Well, we've got a, just a couple of ring magnets, which are circular type magnets. And these are set up north, south, north, south. And they attract pretty heavily, or they don't. You can see they, they, they push away or twist. They don't want to go to this particular washer. So I go to the end, like that. And on the magnet, they can hear the, the, the clink of the attraction. So there's, that's its repelling on those. This is a stainless steel washer in that middle area. That one and just doesn't want to go to it. This other one it really doesn't want to go to it as well, but you can get it to go to it if you put it at 90 degrees. So what I want to do is I just want to show you um, the action of repelling. So you can you can see that the, the magnets repel and they don't go together. They just they they fire apart. So can you see that happening? Or do we need to colour this one? Pretty rough. So what I just want to do is I just want to separate this particular one one more time. Uh, just got a slide in my car. They're very gentle these things. <laughs> and just to show you some different reactions that can take place. So this is in repulsion. Okay, so this is where the fields don't go together. And as you can see, we've made a mistake with this particular one where it does go together. So this is quite unusual. And with a slight amount of movement, there we go. Now, if you saw that or not, attraction and repulsion. So, just one more time, so that it's holding. Right. Just so that you can see that it, whilst it was an attraction, it it now has the ability. To just I'll just get back a little bit further to the camera, just so you can see this. Um, I'm just going to float the washer near it and it'll pull it away. <laughs> nah, you can't do that. That's cheating. To, to show that it can be done twice in a row, maybe. Got to balance this uh, in its right location. Also, so you can see it, you might want to just go back a fraction more so that you can see it in action. That's approximately four feet jumping straight up. Okay, Dad. Um, so, what else can you use it for, apart from jumping magnets? There are... Because, because normally they don't do this at all. So, we've got this mechanism, possibly, <laughs> you didn't even catch it. Okay? Yeah, yeah like that. So, what else can it be used for? Well, we're using it for uh, aligning water. We're using the attraction that is normally repulsed uh, for water to spin. Uh, around a magnetic field. Let's swap this over. 
so that it's now in repulsion. And I just want to show that we can drop the magnet from a great height, slight angle. On a slight angle, it will repulse. Okay, so just to prove again, it's repulse. Now, if we bring it to a perpendicular, it should attract. Alright, it didn't. Let me do it one more time. Make sure that we're straight. Not bad. It did it. So, predicting its behaviour is some of the things that we want to be able to do with magnetic field. You've noticed that large washer there um, holds out at 45 degrees before it actually repels. And just to prove it, I'll move it to the top, put it in the perpendicular or horizontal. That's horizontal, isn't it? To the vertical. <laughs> ah, you know what I mean. It's directly upright. How's that? So it's 90 degrees to horizontal. There about. Kind of that. No. All right. Well, we're predicting that it will. It'll repel normally. Okay, take it over a little bit. Who's played with it? <laughs> ah, I think this must belong to Goldilocks. Oh, the three bears. Okay, it's going to make a liar of me, which is good. Thank you. It will happen. <laughs> with persistence. <laughs> Alright, so we're looking at why and what happens with this particular action. So folding that up allows it to release and come away. So that's just one of the other actions of it. Um, showing that it actually has more power. It's a bit hard. Oh, well, not really. Um, I'll show this in, in attraction um, is very, very strong. Here it doesn't attract to it at all, but here it's extremely strong. I just want to... Couldn't see. Couldn't see. My hands were in the way, weren't they? I showed you where there there's twins that don't go together. And it doesn't matter what you do, they just won't come together at all. But if we bring a cousin in, It might, it might go together. I'd like to just put a little bit of slippery on, just so that they'll bind, maybe. Come on. Gonna make a liar. The bigger one. Yeah, bigger one will do it, but I want to just get this one in. It's in. Anyway, it, it it attracts and repels at the one at the one time. <laughs> Good for Morse code.
Just doesn't want to stick. Okay, so get rid of that one. Or bring the other one into play. So this is now four washers, like we had before. Full traction. But a lot of a lot of extra power associated with these. Very hard to pull them apart normally. Alright, so has that driven your nuts yet? You can do, everybody can do that now. Put your hands up if you can't. No, you put your hand down. <laughs> Uh, so just remember you can't do this and you'll be right. Alright? If you're told something, just remember it's not true until you've done it and proven it to yourself that it's not true. So, um, why does it normally repulse and yet here it's attracting? Okay, so there's these magnetic fields. We know for sure that they repulse. Because that's what it's doing. Take that silly thing off your face. They're uh, just beautiful, and to see them come into attraction at that point is just phenomenal. Okay. The field, I'll just put my thumb on just so that you can hear or just see the intensity that's got to come in. To remove that field. But it's not that I'm super strong or anything, making it go that way, but it's pretty exciting, guys. Only because it can't be done. So you can't do that, remember? They they repel. Alright, as they should. So they shouldn't stay there. It shouldn't be doing what that's doing at the moment. So, I don't know what we've done. I don't think any, any of you out there know what we've done, but if you do happen to know what we've done and and you like what we've done, please send money, because that's the only reason we can keep playing, is that we, uh, we need to exist. So, you know, like I don't drive a Rolls Royce yet, but listen, you know, Daimler's or, um, you know, things like Rolls Royce's, um, Mercedes Benz, whatever, you know, we'll, we'll stuff them up, we'll play with them and uh, have a bit of fun driving them around the countryside. So, um, make sure they come with plenty of fuel first, please. Uh, and or a fuel card, you know. <laughs> we just love showing you this stuff because we know it'll drive, you know. Okay. So there you go. That's about this magnet. Let me just show you some of the other stuff we're doing. Uh, you'll notice some of our little experiments are there, and these are pretty unique. We're using these to disrupt water. So they fire down through there, water flows in this end and comes out this end. And because it does that, it actually magnetizes the water and brings the water back to individual particles or if you like the term as I like the term we could refer it to being poly water uh, my father once told me what poly water was uh, in, when I inquired and he uh, directly told me of course that it was Paris piss so it's the term poly water has always remained a favourite of mine from Polly. <laughs> Polly the parrot, or Polly put the kettle on. Um, so, this way with now three... Now we know Polly's kettle. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is absolutely intriguing and in what it does. So, so, you can follow these up. Um, we're going to be doing some experiments shortly where this will be all videos and with water and everything flowing through it and you'll be able to see it. 
detailed action, but this is just the initial experiment of why we're doing it the way we're doing it. So we've got them with uh, with threes and fours. Um, four of them work really well. Um, threes, I've been told, don't work, so that's why we're going to do it with threes, and uh, we'll get the best response out of three because they don't work. Uh, We've got um, bowls, and I hope you do too. But anyway, that's what it's all about. Um, get yourself some magnets, play with them. Now if you've got a heart that's got one of those uh, pacemakers attached to it, don't play with it. You know, leave it alone. Leave your heart alone. Uh, give it. Remember to donate all all the bits you're not using if you're dead. You know. Somebody else might be able to use them. We could play with them. <laughs> we could use a thigh bone down here or something, you know, something that's a little bit different. Um, we just like to see what things do and why they do what they do. Um, so this is how you begin to play. You just use different magnetic structures and different types of magnets. Um, these are called rattlesnake eggs. They're only allowed as kids' toys. Just remember your kids are a lot smarter than you. It's just that if they happen to be playing with these, uh, they actually have a ball with it. Uh, we wind the, the magnets up and they unwind, um, which is quite quite a unique thing to see. Uh, if I can do it, do it properly, the wheel spin back. Oh, hitting my thumb. I had to fix that. Add one more. <laughs> so, as they go around, I'll, I'll go back to facing north. Where is north on these? They don't know, because you can move them back to there, and they'll stay there. So, what we found is that when you push the magnet together, they'll touch on the end, but if you turn it at 90 degrees, they'll repel. So just by a simple twist, they don't go together. So that's the field. The field is in the middle. It sits right in the middle. So pretty spectacular stuff. Where you can wind, wind the power of the magnet up. It actually makes them stronger to pull apart. And that's weird. How many of you know that? You can actually wind a magnetic field. So play with them, see what you can do, and uh, if you haven't got the time to play with them, send me the money so that we can play with them. And uh, <laughs> we just do this because we just love driving you nuts and showing you what you're missing out on. Okay, so that's it. Good enough? Taking my time, buzz off and send money. Thank you. That'll do you.